history at all. Um, you know that my wife and I have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of rescue animals. We, we don't have human children. We met too late in life, so we're making up for it by having fur children and feather children. <laughs> Most of them are rescues. And um, I've always had lots of animals in my life. And so these, these three tunes were inspired by various animals in my life throughout time. Uh, the first one's um, titled Chickies in the House because I was trying to, there was a, um, a little healer dog by the name of Misty. And uh, we had inherited her and the yard and the chickens in the yard. And they had, a, they had a chicken house and they had a hot wire that ran around the chicken house, sat about this high above the ground. <laughs> And there was a space about this wide where the chickens could go in through. <laughs> kind of like they, they, they kind of looked like that. They would, they would sneak very quietly through the hot wire. Uh, because it's electric, right? And, and so, you know, we were trying to... Uh, Misty really would chase these chickens around. And she, she got the idea that she was supposed to be doing something with the chickens, but she didn't know what. And I'm like, okay, you're supposed to herd the chickens in at night. That's what you're supposed to do. And herd them in through that little opening, right? So I thought, you know, how, how can I teach her how to do this? I thought, well, maybe by example. So I started to help her chase the chickens in, in February in the mud in the Northwest. <laughs> and of course, every so often we like get the chickens too excited, and one of them would hit the hot wire, <laughs> and, and feathers would fly. Um, so the first song is, is called Chickies in the House, and you can hear us chasing the chickies around in the mud. And if you listen very quick, carefully, you'll hear the chicken hit the hot wire. <laughs> So that's, that's the first two. And the second two was um, I was practicing my fiddle, and I had a, a little African Senegal parrot, and his name was Napoleon. And Napoleon's about, about the size of a Coke can. And you know how parrots are. They like to be noisy and raucous and make, make lots of noise. And, and I'm practicing my fiddle, and he's shrieking his head off. And I'm, it's very hard to, pro, to play right now. <laughs> it's, I'm like, Okay, how do you like it, Birdie? And I start copying on the fiddle everything he does. In about an hour and a half, we've written a song together. <laughs> so we call it Napoleon's Rant. That's, that's his, his song, he wrote it. And then the third song was, um, uh, there again, the fiddle. I don't know how I ever learned how to play, because with my animals being such harsh critics as they are, that's, that's, it's, it's been challenging. A little wee kitten by the name of Duncan. A little gray, gray tiger. Very, very talented. He actually liked music a lot. And um, I would be playing in the middle of the living room, and he would start running around in the living room. And he'd stop in front of me and look at me and go, in that little kitten voice that they have. You know, he couldn't even meow yet. And they'd start running around again. And they'd stop and look at me. And I'm still playing. And then finally he starts ignoring me and starts running around the house and he starts running up to the door, to the front door. And he starts running up the side of the door, kind of doing the Fred Astaire thing. <laughs> and he gets high enough up this door after a while that he takes a swipe at the sign that we have taped on the door that says, do not let the cats outside. <laughs> and as soon as he knocked this thing off the door, then he stopped and went over to the window that was open to the spring air and started calling out the window going, help, help, he's got a fiddle and he won't stop playing. <laughs> so so the, this was the, I decided to call this last two Duncan's Dance. And you could, you could hear Duncan running around going, and swiping things off the door. So just use your imagination. I'm sure you'll hear these things.